Hi, my name is Cheng Vu, and I am the Global Product Manager for Magnetic Flow Meters with Emerson. I'll be walking through how to troubleshoot an 8732 transmitter when no AO power is detected. There are four things we can check and verify. First, verify the analog switch position. The analog switch determines the source of the 4 to 20 milliamp loop power. Ensure that the switch is set to the appropriate position based on the analog output powering requirements. Internal, if it is powered internally by the transmitter, or external, if powered by a 10 to 30 volt DC external power supply. The switch is in the internal position when the transmitter is shipped from the factory. Second, verify the analog 4 to 20 milliamp loop wiring. If the transmitter is supplying loop power, the positive wire must land on terminal one while the negative wire lands on terminal two. If there is an external power supply powering the analog output, the negative wire must land on terminal one while the positive wire lands on terminal two. Next, for externally powered loops, verify sufficient power. If the analog power switch is set properly to the external position and there is no external loop power, verify power supply requirements. DC supply voltage must be between 10 to 30 volts DC, depending on the resistance in the analog output loop. 24 volt DC is a common power supply voltage to allow for 250 ohms resistance required for hard communication. Finally, check for open loop. The no AO power alert message will activate if there is no connection between terminals one and two. To fix this, install resistance across the analog output terminals one and two in the form of a resistor or jumper wire. If the analog output channel is not being used, the no AO power alert message can be masked or turned off. To mask or turn off the alert message from the home flow rate screen, press the down arrow four times to access the detailed setup menu. Then press the right arrow to select the detailed setup menu. Press the down arrow to scroll through the menu options and press the right arrow to select LOI config. Then press the down arrow to scroll through the menu options and press the right arrow to select LOI error mask. Then press the right arrow to select no AO power. Then press the right arrow to select on. These corrective actions should resolve the no AO power error on the transmitter. However, if the error is still showing, please contact your local Emerson representative.